the Melbourne Cup trophy will be paraded around WA as part of its national tour. And its first stop is up in Mindari, which is where we find Lisa Fernandez this morning, surrounded by the kids and some heavy security. Oh, that's right, aren't they gorgeous? I'm here with the beautiful kids from uh, the Peter Moyes Anglican Community School. Guys, what year are you all in? Aren't they good? Yes, five and six. And that's right, because the Melbourne Cup is touring around the Emirates Melbourne Cup and it's going to different schools around Australia and in Western Australia. So uh, the kids are learning about the history of the Emirates Melbourne Cup today. And I'm going to tell you some fun facts about the Cup, Tim. And kids, what class are you missing right now? Love and they love it. <laughs> they, you know what, Tim? The greatest thing about being a kid was being at school. So much fun. Yep, good so times, So much Lise. fun. It's mm. good times. So, you know, the school's been fantastic to have Channel 9 out here and we're going to uh, show you more of the Melbourne Cup. Looks good, doesn't it? It's worth a lot of money, very too. Shiny. No, very shiny. I need carrots. very shiny. And yes, there is security all around it. Right, let's go back to Lisa Fernandez now, who's hanging out with some very special kids in Mindari and as well, the Melbourne Cup, please. Oh, look, it's so fantastic to be here. I'm going to introduce you to the principal of the junior school right now, Rod Wood. Hi, Rod. How are you? Very well, thanks. Yeah, look, Rod, thanks for having us here. Now, how did you get the Melbourne Cup here in the first place? Well, Explain a that. A bit of a lottery, really. We uh, put our hands up and thought not many schools get an opportunity to have the Cup uh, yes. come here, so we were very excited about that. And we've got Wayne Harris, who was the winner of the Melbourne Cup in 1994, yes, who's going to come right. and spend the morning with us talking about the history of the Cup. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, mm. And it's great, you know, for the kids to learn about the history of a great sport in Australia, I think. And they have been learning some fun facts, Tim. So we're just going to go around and learn a few of the fun facts, starting off with Naomi. Tell us, Naomi. Um, the Melbourne Cup is a big part of Australian history and its culture. Excellent. Okay. Um, my name's so, yes, Hi, my name's Georgia. Um, my fun fact is n not one horse has won in barrier 18 since the barriers were introduced in 1924. 1924. Georgia, you don't sound like you're having fun saying that fact, but I know you never <laughs> smile. Smile the camera away. There you are. Okay, what's your fun fact? What's your name? Hi, I'm Nisha. My fun fact is World War One and Two stopped most major sports in Australia, but not the Melbourne Cup. Ah, that's a good fun fact. Hi, my name is Georgia too, and um, my fun fact is that um, the Melbourne Cup started in 1875 and it's been going for 140 years now. Wow, okay. Hi, my name is Jacob and my fun fact is that the Melbourne Cup is the race that stops the nation. Oh, it certainly is. Hi, my name's Cohen and my fun fact is uh, Bart Cummings has won it 12 times even though he's allergic to horses. Now I didn't know that, did you know that? Yeah, he was allergic, allergic to, to horses, yep. Heard of oh, thought. how would you go? What a successful career! So, like, hey, I could be allergic to the media and still do very well. Yes. Have you told the kids yet that the, uh, you know, that their Victorian school kid counterparts will get the day off school when the Melbourne Cup's oh, on? Have you told hey, them kids, that yet? Did you? Well, I'm going to tell them. Tim just told me that um, the kids in Victoria they get the day off for Melbourne Cup. Yes. Yeah. yeah. How about that? <laughs> yeah, well done. Well done, Tim. I can't hear you now. I'm causing a mutiny. All right. No, it's been wonderful to be here with these kids, and I'm so glad that they're learning about the history of Australia. I'm going to get my iPad now. Now, kids, stay there. Remember, you, you must um, not go too close to the Melbourne Cup, but I just want to show you this, Tim. It's absolutely gorgeous. The prim primary students who weren't involved in this are sitting so quietly here. Hello, kids. I can tell you that um, 8 degrees we got to at 4.45 this morning. In Perth today, we're heading for a sunny top of 28 degrees. Perth tomorrow, mostly sunny. 31. Over the next few days, Thursday, uh, it's going to be cloudy, very high chance of showers. Unfortunately, top of 21. Friday, cloudy, high chance of showers, 20. Uh, Saturday, a shower or two, 18. Looks like today got the, we got the best of it today and tomorrow. Sunday, partly cloudy, 20. And Monday, partly cloudy, 18. So from Peter Moyes Anglican Community School, these are the pre-primary students. Say hello, kids. I'll leave you guys, Tim, but um, it's been great to be here and it's always wonderful to uh, be in beautiful Mindari. Yeah. Beautiful spot up there. Thank you very much, Lisa, and thank you to the See kids ya. as well. I will. And don't I will run say off for the cup, Lisa. You won't make it bye. very far. Thank you.